Hey fam, welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. If you are new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time. And come visit me on TikTok and Instagram because I'm always there. And of course, welcome back to all my oldies for goodies. So you guys, my lips are crusty. Hold on. I went to the gym today and I didn't drink enough water. I should have, but I didn't. You guys, She Glam release. I didn't realize it's a full coverage foundation balm. I was thinking it was just like a foundation balm. You know how that's like really in right now, especially because it's the sun. Summer, but this is full coverage. What? I got mine on She Glam's website. I have two shades. I got wheat and cashew. Thank you guys for asking me to review this. I got a few messages on Instagram. So thank you so much for always keeping me in the loop because I always try, but you know, your help is so helpful. Oh my god, look at this. It comes with oh wow, this is cute. It comes in a little pouch. Oh wow! Look how pretty this is. Comes in a 0.52 ounce container, nicely sealed. Oh look, it's kind of like, has a lot of movement or is it like melted? Shade is this? This is wheat, okay. And then let's go with, I will say She Glam has really nice packaging for like the affordable price tag. It always comes like sealed and everything. Okay, this is a shoe. Yeah. That shoe's a little deep. We have wheat. Oh, wheat. <laughs> oh, wow. It matches my leg. This is wheat. Wheat is the one that just fell. Oh my God, I don't have pants on. So thankfully, because that would have been a mess. I swear things are really meant to happen because I rarely have a makeup wipe. I don't really use makeup wipes too often. And look, here we are. Okay, I don't even know which one I just swatched. Was it wheat? Here, let's try again wheat oh yeah it was wheat cashew you see this one didn't like move around as much cashew's a little deeper so we're definitely gonna go with wheat i do like that their foundation their hydrating ones and their matte ones have the same names so if you've used those you're most likely the same name as this one so that's so helpful she glam's only available online you know okay let me get my life together hold on be back i had to wash my hands and my leg okay i'm gonna get some elf primer some of the some of the sticky primer because we're dealing with a you know like a full coverage balm i'm not sure what that even means at this point for me bombs are like lightweight your skin but better like the jones road type but not today oh and this eye look is already up it's the maybelline facts i did three looks with this little baby right here okay let's let this dry down a little bit then we're gonna go in with the milk makeup blurring mattified primer right here where the pores are big and where i get the oiliest because you guys know we do have oily skin on this channel i'm just gonna apply it with my finger i typically apply foundation with my finger because i like to feel it and i like to tell you guys how it feels this foundation's a little warm but it's okay it's thick it has that bomb feel for sure and it feels matte it's like so thick it feels matte does that make sense but it kind of does right <laughs> and this shade wheat does have a neutral undertone what I like about she glam is what you see online is what you get so that's really helpful while wow, this is kind of like blurring but full coverage let me just dip my sponge I don't know I don't know if that's a good idea blend this out I think it's leaning a little to the matte because of the primer it's full coverage but it doesn't look like cake on the face right it's really smooth and then this is the before let's see if we can cover this hyperpigmentation just leave it there and then i'll blend it out so cool i'm very interested in this i'm gonna do is add this side and then give you all the info about this product the new she glam skin fluencer full coverage foundation balm it comes in 30 shades i am in the shade wheat get high coverage and an instantly flawless application faster than ever with a few strokes of a makeup brush our non-greasy formula is long wearing adopting an oil and water emulsification system which adheres to skin with a thin consistency it has long lasting antioxidant formula that features 10 to 20 micro pre-mixed powders using amino acids for sweat proof makeup highlighted ingredients is sodium hyaluronate and moist sea gel this is talc free alcohol free with non-allergenic ingredients and it retails for 850 like it's really nice it's blurring it's radiant 
it's just this texture is really thick it kind of throws you off like you don't know what you're gonna get really if it's gonna be too thick too creamy too much on the skin blending it out with the sponge will sheer product out you will always have more of a sheer look which is kind of good because she's like full oh, coverage okay 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 what time is it? It is 8.30. What I usually do with foundation is I let the foundation sit on the skin for about 20 minutes, just bare like this without powders or any other cream products. So you can see how it warms up. So right now it kind of feels wet because it's thicker and it is a bomb. So let's see in 20 minutes if it dries down, if it changes or yeah. Okay. I had to get my shake. I was waiting around. I'm like, oh my God, I need to go do something. Okay. <laughs> what time is it? Woo! Brain freeze. So it's almost nine o'clock. We've, oh shoot, it's been 30 minutes. Oops, my bad. The foundation dried. You guys, this foundation's messy. It like spilled again. <laughs> I finally put pants on though, so it's sticky but kind of dry, like not wet, but a little bit. <laughs> Look at that skin though, girl. Pores wear. Um, okay. Wow. I like it and I really like it's warmed up to the skin. It doesn't look too warm like we started off with. I'm going to go in with this Maybelline Fit Me Powder in Fair and set the skin down, making sure the foundation is set and it doesn't move all day long. It's silky, silky, silky. I am liking this. It's like a full coverage bomb, which at first I'm like, what the heck? That's just like a lot. I like it because it performs as a bomb, but it gives you full coverage and a flawless look. Okay, let's see. Let's see if it lasts all day because you guys know we have oily skin here. We're not trying to look as thought up. So what I'm gonna do is just finish up the face, speed it up, and I'll be back. I just love how the skin looks. I feel like I have that patch. Feels not heavy, but you're getting that full coverage look. Lightweight, balmy feel. Just like how everything just went on very, very smoothly. The skin looks like skin. And I noticed when I added my Rare Beauty Mist, it made the skin look a little bit softer. It didn't look as powdery, which setting spray does do that. Skin looked a little more plumped once I wet it with the setting spray. That doesn't really happen a lot of the time. So I thought that was kind of cool. What you think? What do you think? How this skin looks? Oh, I like it. I like this. Okay. So you guys know we're going to be here for two days. And yeah, let's just go in front of the window so you guys can see how the skin looks in daylight. And I'll see you later. In front of the window. When you look at it, it looks matte. But when you feel it, it's that balmy feel. Like you do feel a little bit of hydration. I don't know if you can see like the mattified effect. But I will say, girl, this thing looks good. Full coverage balm. Like that's literally what you're getting. I wasn't expecting any of this. Like at all. But yeah. Okay, ciao. Damn, I'm back. Oh my gosh. It is 8, almost 8.30. Of course, I do want to show you how the skin was looking at around 5 o'clock. And I must say, the skin was looking so good. I was just like, how are we still this flawless and blurred at the halfway mark? And 12 hours later, look at this skin. I am oily, but it's more like radiant than oils, right? My nose is still there, you see? Well, let's turn off the lights. You can see my pores a little bit, which happens because it's been all day. But look at the foundation, just how smooth it freaking looks. Crazy. I mean, I had a good feeling because, you know, we were pretty mattified in the morning time. I feel like the foundation really took onto the matte powder. It's like this body warmth is just making it freaking beautiful. So let's tap the face and see how it would look. I'm using the sponge I used earlier today. Gets rid of that first layer of like oils and stuff. Ah! So good. Wow. Feels like it is on, you know, a lot of body warmth. Definitely don't look gastadas. And today was a good day. And yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye. Hello fam, I'm back day number two. We're not gonna wear primer today because, you know, we like to change it up. I did my skincare about 30 minutes ago. Let's go right on in. This is wheat, right? Yeah. Grab a brush. No, maybe like this. And I really, I'm taking my time with my makeup. I love to apply the foundation with this brush from Smashbox. And what it does, it just applies the foundation very thinly. Oh, I could see all my pores right now though. With the hand, I couldn't see on my 
pores and stuff. I'm gonna grab a brush because we're gonna apply with a brush. And then let's dip it on. Let's see if those like pores kind of blend in. I feel like the brush, this one and the, the buffing brush, they're leaving streaks. I don't know if I like the application today. It's not the best, but the skin looks nice. I feel like it'll just warm up into like place kind of thing. So you see, look at this before and after. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, well, let's apply this side. Yeah, I don't think the brush is my favorite because it applies weird on the skin. Eventually just like blends out nicely, but that first like application, you're like, wait, what? You can see like it accentuates your pores and stuff. I was able to blend it out so it looks really good. I don't know. I'm kind of like scared since we don't have primer, but it's okay. So it is 6.15. We're going to let the foundation sit for about 15 minutes today. Not as long as we did yesterday. And I'll be back. So it's been about 15 minutes. Oh, it feels a little bit wet, but I don't know. Like it doesn't look as smooth especially like around the nose area. I don't know if you can see though. It looks smooth here, actually. It's just the nose that I'm like, bleh. You know what I'm saying? I think the primer just helps smooth everything out. I don't think this is like the best way. I think the way we did it yesterday with our hands and a sponge worked the best. Now I'm just gonna set the skin with this Givenchy powder so we make sure it's locked in. Okay, the skin's coming together now with the powder. I'm like, wait, I just did not like that initial application. But it looks really good. It looks similar to yesterday. Look how smooth this skin looks. What? Just look at the nose. Oh yeah, the nose looks way better. And then look at this side. Ooh, let's finish up the face and then I'll be back. Wow, I'm kind of loving the skin. It looks super fresh today. I didn't want to wear eyeshadow today so I can give you guys a different look. It could be like an everyday foundation. Just full coverage. Hold on, I think I have a patch here. Hold on, hold on. I'm just like so fresh and so clean, I feel. Let's turn off the lights and see. Oh, yeah, the skin looks good. I just feel like you can see my pores a little bit more. It's not significant, but you know, we have to be picky when I'm reviewing something for you. Look at this hair. Put all my little hairs up. I don't want to put any like product in my hair. So, you know, the struggle be real sometimes. Oh, I'm also still getting that matte effect. I use the Rare Beauty Spray. This spray is so good. It just brings hydration back into the skin. If you ever powdered too much, your skin is not feeling like skin. This spray just kind of plumps everything together. I don't have any highlight or anything, and it just looks like we're glowing here. Go in front of the window so you guys can see what's up. And this is it. See you later. Bye. All right, fam. Oh! Look at the skin. Okay, maybe I like it today better. <laughs> it looks really good. I just feel like maybe it needs a little bit of warmth since we're not wearing primer and we applied it differently. But what do you think? Oh, look, you see the nose? It's been doing that like all day. But yesterday it didn't do that. Just a quick tidbit, you know? Okay, ciao. All right, fam, I am back. It is almost six o'clock. I need to hurry up because the sun is coming in and out. We've had She Glam full coverage foundation balm on all day long today. I must say it doesn't look as nice as it looked yesterday. You can see a little more texture today. Not much though. Like you can see my pores a little more. I feel like I'm a little more on the oilier side today, but for the most part, the skin looks really, really freaking good. You see the oils, but you know, I have oily skin. I will always be radiant at the end of the day, especially at 12 hours without touching up. We definitely don't look gastadas. I feel like we look well put together considering it didn't apply too well. We don't have primer. So definitely day one is a better day, but overall is a good foundation for a eight dollar and 50 cent foundation i really love the idea of a bomb and a full coverage foundation because you kind of get the best of both worlds it doesn't feel heavy but you have full coverage and it blurs because of that i really really do like it i just think you definitely need a primer so it can last all day and it's messy keep that in mind you need like a spatula you need a little something something because you guys saw the hot mess yesterday g glam really comes through with the base products i feel like they do it very very well i haven't had any issues bad experiences with any of their other two foundations i've tried but let me know your thoughts and thank you guys so much for asking me to review this you guys are the real ones i love you guys so much let me know your thoughts on this thank you for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me please don't forget to like subscribe click the button right there and i'll see you in the next one bye